So after three whole weeklies, three different weeklies in the last week, run a new weekly. Um, and this is... I've played a couple rounds. There's some good, uh, good ideas going on here. There's some interesting... There's some interesting pets in this one. Some pretty good, um... Some pretty, some pretty decent lineups you can create here. Will we be able to create any of those? Let's find out, that's the whole point of the dang games, man. So shut up. And, uh... Look at the screen. Put your eyes on- Will your eyes to the front of the board. Um... Not really a huge fan of the frog, to be quite honest. Ladybug was in the last one as well, and, um, I really don't, you know, I don't, once you take the ladybug, much like the frilled dragon, once you take the ladybug, you almost have to commit to it. You can't, like, you can't change your mind. You can't be like, ah, it's time to get rid of the ladybug. I mean, you can, but a lot of the times, once you take a ladybug, you're sticking with that dang ladybug, and it's not going anywhere. So, I mean, I'm gonna have to take a ladybug here. So I might as well do it. I might as well take both of them, you know? And then we'll put a honey on, uh... We'll put a honey on the beetle. Save the cricket, so he's got that little bit of a buff. Combine the ladybugs next turn, and then put the cricket in, in front of the horse. And there you have, there you have winning gameplay right here. Although it couldn't have hurt to move my team around, although it looks like it's uh, gonna turn out in my favor regardless. So, no complaints here. No real complaints here. Alright, so here's the huge strategy moment that I was just talking about, and we, we buff it again, also. So now it's a 1-4. And then we re-roll. And then we put a honey on that for uh, just an extra spawner. And we'll move, we'll move that around a little bit. There we go, that's good. I think that's, that's a fine team. It's a fine looking team. Rude players. This is, okay, I think we can defeat these, these guys. Okay, never mind, I changed my mind, I lied. Orange celebrities, I wonder who that could be in reference to, who knows. Alright. I think it's time to, you know, think of other options. I think we can get rid of the horse. Roll this. Okay, we buy the flamingo, we buy the cricket, and then we roll again. So we can get that. That level up on the next turn. And then we have the seahorse level up, potentially. And now this is what I'm talking about. The ladybug begins to become pretty useless here. And if we can't get a level up out of this ladybug next turn, we're just gonna sell it. And then it'll be gone and we don't have to worry about it at all. Not looking terribly great for us here. It didn't. It didn't look terribly great, and it wasn't terribly great. But that's okay, now... We level up the cricket, we get a dragonfly, we sell the ladybug. We buy the dragonfly, we freeze the sleeping pill, we roll... And then we roll again. Okay, not exactly what I was hoping to see here, but... It's a level up, and I'll take a level up. We're gonna pull the flamingo by another flamingo next turn. I think that's what we gotta do. I just think that's the move, unfortunately. You can doubt it all you want, but I think it's the move. Okay, that was a strong bug, but luckily we have a... We have a... A, cr a cricket. Sorry, I forgot the name of the name of the game. So I think our dragonfly is gonna stick around for a little bit. And I think our cricket's actually going to stick around too, so we're going to pill the flamingo onto the dragonfly and cricket, move the cricket back, move the flamingo back, but actually right there because it's, it's moved up a spot in the rankings. And then we're going to buy a cookie and put it on the flamingo, so the flamingo has a little bit more power in the front. And then we're going to just roll. We get the seahorse, that's good. And we roll. And then we roll again. Nothing terribly great here, okay. Nothing that's piqued my interest. And our flamingo got buffed by the dragonfly, so that's great. Okay, we got a... Not really liking what I'm seeing here. That's a strong... That's a very strong blowfish. 
that just wasn't that wasn't gonna end up going well for us to be quite honest okay i'm gonna buy you that's pretty good that's pretty good a shark okay this is gonna be a little controversial Gonna be a bit controversial, but I'm gonna wait for the shark to go to this, the first spot, and then we can buff with the beetle. I think that's what I need to do here. But we're getting buffs all around with the, the poodle and the dragonfly. The elephant... Ah, okay. The elephant... Blowfish team is back in full force this weekly. And that's rather unfortunate. That's just rather unfortunate. We're gonna get the beetle back in right away. This is essentially the same team we just ran. <laughs> this is the same first shop that we got. But this time we got a new name, the Unsettled Pearls. So watch out. All right. The chinchilla and dog kind of works a little bit well. If we can get an early dog, that's that'd be great. Okay, we get one stronger unit than we combine the chinchillas, so I think that's that's good. And we roll this. We roll with this and see how this goes. I think we win this. We do. Almost. We almost lost. Okay, we once again get a flamingo in there. We roll, hope for uh, that is what I'm. There we go. There's the dog I was talking about. Okay, a little controversial, but we kind of need this to get the dog his full effects here. So we sell you, sell you, and then we buy. We have three flamingos in the squad. A little funny. This is a bit of a comical joke here. Believe it or not. This is actually called a comedy routine. Many people are going to be laughing when they go up against the steam. I think we're going to win it anyway. Oh. <laughs> Looks like I had the last laugh on that one. Um, okay, so we we kind of halt the comedy routine a little bit here by by getting an elephant in. I think we gotta we kind of go with the meta of uh, this being playing the meta, you know, you know what I'm saying? Where's the blowfish? Do, wait, are blowfish even on this turn? No, we gotta wait until turn five. So I should have just put a. Well, I didn't have that. Never mind. I gotta stop being so hard on myself. Unbelievable. Okay. So maybe we just get rid of the elephant altogether at a certain point. Who knows? If we can't get it working, it's fine. We'll find a better strategy. We don't even need it anyway. Alright, dragonfly. Dragonfly is sticking around. We're gonna uh, peel you. And then we're going to buy you, sell you, freeze you, freeze you, in case we don't get... Okay, that's good. Uh, but for now, we're just going to stick the flamingo in the front again. Yeah. Yeah, I think the elephant's being sold next. The elephant's not really... Uh, we're not finding anything that's going to do any good for the elephant. And I mean, we're having an incredible play so far. This is a flawless uh, ra uh, game as of uh, currently. Sorry, I can't speak. And the beetle's got to go next. The beetle has simply got to go. Okay. I think buffing the dog is more important, so we're going to do that. Do that. I don't think we need the bat to stick around any longer. Roll to see if we get anything else. There's the blowfish that we so desperately wanted earlier. And then we buy the giraffe to buff the dog even further. 
And then I got to be on the lookout for a pill to get this flamingo down the drain. What was that? A little bit of a glitch in the matrix. Okay. That was an incredibly strong jellyfish there. It happens to the best of us. Ooh, all right. So we get rid of the beetle. He's not doing anything. We buy snail. We sell snail. We buy doge. We combine doge. Turkey, not terribly interested. We buy tropical fish. We sell tropical fish. We roll. We buy another snail. Believe it or not. That's... This is pretty incredible. Okay. I feel like we're looking at a pretty good team. The makeup of a great team. This dog is huge. As long as we don't run into anyone that... Okay, we're, we're safe. We're safe. Only one loss so far? That's looking pretty decent. Okay. Sell to you. We buy to you. We roll. Do I level up the flamingo? I don't think I do, to be honest. However, I think I... Okay, maybe not that. I can save that for next round. I combine you. Roll. And then I buy a chinchilla, sell it. Buff the dog. And then I want a bit of a stronger unit in the back. And I'll freeze a pair for good luck. Actually, I shouldn't have, because I need- I'm looking for a pill, that's right. My mistake. My- uh, huge mistake, huge mistake. Okay, <laughs> my, uh, careful planning has gone to waste, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It was for naught. Alright, so we sell the chinchilla. We sell the chinchilla. We bly, bly the flamingo. We combine it. We get an alpaca friend summon, give it plus one experience. Um, I kind of want to keep the dragonfly around because the dragonfly is doing some great stuff. So the alpaca is not going to be incredibly useful for us at this juncture. But, um... I think I buy the stew. And then I put two f dragonflies in there. And then we cross our fingers and hope to find a pill. ASASAP. Because this flamingo is getting strong to the point where I'm kind of, you know, getting a little concerned that I'm going to want to keep it around, which is not something you'd want. That was just a strong cricket, and there's not really a whole lot you can do about a strong cricket. So we combine the dragonfly, we give our dog a peach we roll plus one with no food okay one friend of each tier okay so the siberian husky would buff more people but he wouldn't buff our dog which is a big problem but also our dog might not get buffed we could- I think it's better to gamble with the poodle. We buy the Siberian Husky, we sell you. Buy the poodle, roll, see if we get anything better. I, I'm not interested in more flamingos, to be quite honest. Sorry to disappoint. Our dog is going to the moon, though, which is what we want. Alright, our dog got buffed by the poodle. It all worked out. God has a plan. I think we win this. Our dog's just simply too strong to die. Okay, it died at the end, but that's exactly where I wanted our dog to die. No... No sign of a pill anywhere. Okay. We... I'm not really... There's not really anything here that's worth, like, buying. There's the pill that we so desperately wanted. Okay, the the dog is getting strong enough to where it makes sense to put a melon on it. 
and then maybe a lemon for our for our dragonfly in the back. And then maybe a snake. I think our dog can will go to 50-50 without buying any new pets. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. Yeah. So we pilled up Flamingo. We can get rid of the draft pretty soon here. Also. Yeah, we buy the draft or the we sell the draft, pill the flamingo. We I think we sell the draft next. Yeah, we got to. We we need huge changes are needed to continue this team's strength. So we sell you, buy the snake, pill the flamingo. Buy the other snake. Put you behind just in case we don't get anything good. A saber tooth tiger could work here. It could work. Um, it is our best unit here, so I'm gonna buy it. I am gonna buy it. We're we're going. It's going to 50/50, no doubt about it. Okay. Oh, we lose. That was a good team, though. We were getting something good going. If we could only have gotten some... You know, gotten rid of the Flamingo and Giraffe a little earlier, I think that would have worked in our favor. But, um... Otherwise, I think that was a pretty solid team. I'm pretty happy with how that was going. Not really enjoying the makeup of this team. We're gonna do something different. We put the Cricket in the middle. <laughs> it's a Cricket Chinchilla Sandwich. I mean, we were going to lose there no matter what. It's just the nature of the draw. Okay, we need more. We need an extra mosquito there. It's just... We can't really deal without it. And then we're, we're moving back to the classic strong units up front, bad units in the back. I think that is the way to go. Thank goodness for our cricket. We gotta love the cricket. Oh yeah, we combine you. We'll, f we'll freeze you for now, I suppose. And then I do this just for a stronger, this additional strong unit. Give a cookie to our chinchilla. I don't think I should have frozen the snail. I've immediately regretted that, by the way. But we win anyway. Which is why we didn't need to freeze the snail. So I unfreeze you. Okay. Our mosquito is sticking around long term. That is for certain. We do this. Here's what we do. This is going to be a bit of a five high IQ play here. Watch this. Sell you. Sell you. Sell you. Pill you. We have nothing on our team. I know. I understand. So we buy you. Roll. Roll. Buy the bat. For now. Buy a dodo because it does at least something. Okay. Maybe not the greatest idea there, but you know, you gotta try something new sometimes. You gotta think outside the box, and that's what I'm all about. Okay. <laughs> and it didn't work out. But sometimes you just gotta try something. You get an idea, you gotta try it. It's just the nature of the game. All right, so we sell the dodo. We're going to buy a camel for fun. And the camel's going to sit in the back for now. This is where the camel's going to be. You can't really do anything about it. This is... We're going to lose. Dude, look at my lawyer. We I just lost. Okay, we sell the bat. 
We buy giraffe. We do this. We buy you. Do I have a uh, level 3 giraffe win? I do, or flamingo? I do. I don't want to buy you then. No thanks. No need. No need to do that. We're not in the business of repeats. I'm all about originality here. I'm losing. It's so obvious. Most obvious loss in the history of Super Auto Pets. This is going to one win. <laughs> Dude, look at my lawyer. I'm only getting one win for sure. We gotta do this. This is high IQ gameplay right here. Watch this. Oh, wait, hold on. Give me something good. A shark, I'll take that. I desperately need a shark in the year 2022. Okay, I should have moved the giraffe. That was kind of stupid. I've lost. Oh wait, maybe not. Yeah, I lost. All right, that that deserved to go to that deserved zero wins to be honest. All right, let's give this another shot with the classic horse cricket build. Only thing that could have made it better was getting another classic or default pack animal in there. But it just wasn't meant to be. Just wasn't meant to be, unfortunately. We draw against Mr. Burton. And uh, a little bit of a surprise, we buff the horse all the way in the back, actually. You may not think that this is a decent strategy, but I'm about to shake the whole game up. Okay, had nothing to do with the extra horse, but we still won. And that's, um, quote, that's all that matters. There's no need to pill you yet, so I'm not going to worry. There is a reason to buy you. And we buy the rabbit just for good luck. Just as a good luck charm. We move you there for now. I believe we win this. Also, why didn't the- oh, the Wombat copied the Flamingo, okay. I was confused there because I was like, oh wait, shouldn't the uh... Shouldn't he have copied the Cricket? But I have two faint animals. I do, I do have two faint animals, believe it or not. Just getting a little extra health on these two guys is going to be more beneficial than rolling, I think, for now. That is a strong ladybug. I don't know if we're going to win this. Yeah, no. That ladybug was really the, uh, the secret weapon there on that team. Okay, I think it's time to go to the horse. Say goodbye to horse. Say hello to Blowfish. And uh, say goodbye to Cricket as well, and say hello to Giraffe to buff the Blowfish. And this is simply just to get some more health on the on our friend, on our Blowfish friend. All right, we're winning this. That is uh, one hundred percent. That was good. Good stuff there. That's exactly who I wanted it on. Thank you so much. Let me buy a garlic on you. And we're going to move you to the back. And we're going to put a croissant on the giraffe as well. And we're going to try and get... A, I think the level 3 blowfish win could be in the works here. But I might be speaking a little too soon. Feel free to quote me on that later. A very strong blowfish in the future could have its garlic replaced with the the pineapple as well, which could be interesting to see. 
Okay, we get rid of the beetle. We get a dolphin in, I believe. But let's roll just in case we see anything else. Nope. It's the dolphin's time to shine. This is going to be a very strong wolfish. That blowfish pretty much single-handedly took out that team. That was beautiful. Here's this, the aforementioned pineapple I was speaking of. A pill for the flamingo could be good. I'd like to see that. I don't know if we will. But hey, we're getting this blowfish really strong and that's, that's what we want. Oh no, we... We're going up against my nightmare team, but it's okay. I have a blowfish and they couldn't stand. They couldn't stand it. They were just absolutely disgusted by my. Who would win, Chad? <laughs> Chad blowfish only versus blowfish elephant team. Um, okay, I guess a flamingo's going right back into the game. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? That's just the best we got. I'll sell that. I don't care. Don't have any intentions on that guy sticking around. This is not good. The tiny years have defeated me. This is replacing the, uh, you know, the thing for sure. The thing. A lemon is definitely better than the low, uh, garlic, so we're doing that. That's going to replace the garlic at the very least for now. A pineapple on the dolphin could also do wonders. This is good stuff here. If I could... Thank you so much. Okay. Good things come to those who... Lemon their... Blowfish. I don't know. This is what, this is what, this is what we got for now. Also, I'm kind of confused as to how the giraffe is continuing to... Gain HP. I don't recall what I've been doing to accomplish that, but thank you, I suppose. A chocolate. Let's level up that blowfish. Another chocolate? Let's level up that blowfish. Okay. That was rough. Okay. A strong, a strong unit with a... With a uh, melon could be good. Holy cow, it's our dream. It's my dream. It's our dream. It's everyone's dream. I should have frozen that pineapple. Okay. Okay, this is gonna... We're, we got this. Okay, a, a tie at least. I'll take it. This is where we're gonna do some huge damage, though. No question about it. Huge damage is... I think it's more important that we do that. This blowfish is very close to getting 50 health. Oh my goodness. That was beautiful. Oh. oh, okay. I need a pineapple. I need a pineapple desperately on the dolphin. That would be my dream. Here it is. Here's the dream. Okay. This, I think this is a pretty solid team. You killed my... 
<laughs> Dude, they killed my star unit, my star player. Who did that? Who was able- how was that ha hold on. How did that happen? Hold on, okay, pause. Pause. Oh, deal 300% attack damage to the most healthy enemy. That makes sense. That that does make sense. That was uh, a little depressing to to witness the assassination of my star player. I was so confident that that team was gonna get a win. Very disappointing. My confidence was through the roof, genuinely. Not really sure I'm liking what I got here, but that's okay. Quote, it's okay. Put it on my gravestone. Lost that. Barely. I'm making the executive decision to buff an elephant in the hopes that we get a, a blowfish. Okay, thank you for fixing my team. I was a little worried there for a second, but you fixed it for me. I, I never understand why people run a double seahorse. It's just not, you're not doing anything. At least do something. Seahorse can also go away. I, can, I, I don't need the seahorse for much longer here. Hold on, opening Discord has broken my computer. I don't know what this animal does. Friend summon if not in battle will give it plus two out. So this, I don't know. This doesn't seem very helpful at all. So this is just like if I buy units. I guess it could be helpful with the dog, but I don't know. Like this, does, this just doesn't seem like a good unit to me. But anyway, despite that, I'm going to sell... I'm selling the sewers. We're gonna go dog again, and I think we gotta get rid of the elephant. He's not doing anything. Or maybe I do this. And then I do this. And I do this. And then I do this. Thank you for the buff. I appreciate it. Okay, I found a use for the lobster. I changed my mind. We don't need to buy two more, two more of those guys. It's not necessary. We've lost, but it's okay. This is the beginning of something incredible. Take a look. Sell the beetle. Buy you. Buy you. Buy you. Sell you. Roll. Roll. Uh, I don't really want the giraffe buffing the tropical fish. I want it to go to the dog, but... Okay, buff the jellyfish, I suppose.
Disgusting. We've lost. Oh my goodness. I thought that was a loss for sure. I had already given up in my brain. Okay. So. Here we go. This is where this lobster could really do wonders. And this jellyfish is starting to... I'm losing interest in the jellyfish. The jellyfish isn't really making anything happen on this team right now. This is simply a stronger team. With a stronger dog. It's time. We buy the snail. Snell. <laughs> Get rid of the snail. And then buy a squirrel for now. If I could level up this lobster, it could really do some wonders with the dog in buying like a new unit. Because there's no can. So I feel like the lobsters are best bet to like get something decent when we're buying new units. Okay, we don't last long enough to test that theory. Just kidding. Very unfortunate here that I'm having to do this. Disgusting team. Absolutely repulsive team here. But a one, I suppose, so I can't complain too much. A cricket? I've already run this team today. And then a ladybug. I'm not bothering leveling up a ladybug, it's not happening. You're not gonna get me to do it. Unless there are two ladybugs this next turn, then I will. I don't foresee that happening, though. What did I say? Uh, the Yak Koala is in play this weekly as well. I've, it's only just now dawned on me. And it's in front of me, so I might as well go for it. You know, you gotta, you gotta play it. However, we don't have um, a good health buffer in here. So, he's going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage when it comes to health. Okay, let's get rid of the cricket and re-roll, see if we can get anything better. Not really. But I'll put a bat in there. I know you're thinking, why not get the dodo, because it has better health. Well, the bat... The bat takes does some pretty good stuff, in my opinion. I think the bat is worth taking sometimes. Especially when it can overwrite a food item that it might have. Although we lost, so it didn't matter. Okay, goodbye to the bat. <laughs> Hello to the flamingo. Get pilled. Roll. Okay, welcome back to the team bat. And also... Do plus five da or take plus five damage, maybe? Is that how that works? 
I can't tell, but I'm just gonna go with it in my brain. That's how it does work. Seahorse and Beetle, why are you on my team still? Quite frankly, that's embarrassing that they're still on my team. On turn six. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hello. Hello. This could be helpful for a second, and then I'm gonna buy you, and we're keeping the snail on the team for now, believe it or not. Oh, this is how he buffed the yak. With health. That's how we do it with a bunny rabbit. I figured out the strategy on getting this yak where I need it to be. We just give it a ton of food. So maybe it makes sense to have the ladybug on this team then. We lost though. I think, are we, were we on lethal? We were, weren't we? Okay, awful. Awful gameplay, but now we have an idea. So maybe the... Maybe the yak ladybug koala is a good idea. I think it might be. I think I'm going to try and go for that. If I see a ladybug, I'm taking it, and then we're going to try and go for the yak. That's my new strat that I just came up with, patented technology. Alright, on the lookout for a ladybug, a yak, and a koala. Got it, understood. I have more important things to look for, which is... This yak, a bunny rabbit. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Hello to you. And then we just- I think we just start buffing it with health immediately. Yes. I understand what I'm doing. I've read the terms of service. So now we, we've got this strategy early on. We can start buffing the yak even without the koala. Although we've passed away, unfortunately, here. But that's, that's okay. This is the beginning of an incredible strategy. Roll. Here we go. We just feed the yak like crazy. As long as we feed it one thing every turn, I think we should be fine. It should be like leveling up itself. Incredible frill jag dragon. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, we've got to we've got to get some stronger units. Replace the beetle and the seahorse next turn, hopefully, and hopefully we don't go to lethal. Hopefully we can win one of these. Okay, we should be able to win this. There's no reason why we shouldn't win this. Okay, we don't. We got beat by Maggie's mum. Okay. I think getting this clownfish in is important. I know this isn't a strong unit, but I think if we can buff the camel a decent amount, we can get it good. Probably through the rabbit, if I'm being honest. We buff it through the rabbit. But this is getting to be a strong yak already. I'd also like to check and see if I already have the yak sticker, because I think it's possible. Good stuff. Okay. Now about this... Yak. I don't have the- I- How do I have the sticker with the koala, but I don't have it with the- the yak? That's a little confusing. I'd love to see... I'd love to be able to go back in time and take a look at whatever run that was, because that's pretty funny. The Siberian Husky is not going to be any benefit here, because we're going to be... These two are going to be the primary units here. And, um... 
they aren't going to be getting the sustenance that they so desperately need with the food on them. We weren't able to feed the yak this turn, which is unfortunate, but hopefully we can get it something good soon. Okay, things are looking good for this. So good that we win to be uh, factual. Okay. I'm so sorry. I know that this is not really exactly what I would like to do, but... We just need to feed it desperately right now. And I'm going to roll. For something good. I'd love to get... I might buff the camel because the camel desperately needs some... Some attack on it. It's looking pretty weak. It's pretty weak right now. The cliche fishes. If only I could pronounce it the cliche fishes. Which is what I'm going to pronounce it as. I only realized that was the team name just now. <laughs> Alright, give a pair to this guy. He needs it desperately. And then we do this. And then I think we just roll for some upgrades. So there we go. There we go. That'll do it for now. Is a cat in this? I think I saw a cat. A cat on this team would work wonders. I'd replace the clownfish with the cat. To be factual. This is a team that's taking shape right now. I'm really loving what I'm seeing. A boar? Okay. I'm a bit... I, f I find the boar a bit of a boar. If you know what I mean. Um... I think the clownfish's time is actually gone. I think I replaced the clownfish with the Spinosaurus coming up next. Our yak is getting pretty decent. Oh my goodness, a death touch? How do you even get that? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Time out. How, do you, how did they get that? Is, uh, the guy... Okay. A walrus is in the pack, I suppose. That's how they did it. Congratulations. Okay, more important right now is getting a cookie onto the yak in some food fashion, some form, <laughs> some food fashion. All right, it's all about feeding the yak next turn. We're giving it the pear. We're going to give it, hopefully it gets some of that. Uh, whatever the other thing, some of the pizza, some of the pizza. We give it to the yak, we give it the pizza. And then, and then after this, we can focus on actually scaling or leveling up the camel and the, uh, all these other units. Our yak's health has been keeping up pretty good with its eight, uh, attack. So I'm, my strategy is working wonders, to be honest. Oh, that was pretty incredible. Too bad we're going to lose anyway. <laughs> uh... All right, this is getting a little worrisome to lose there. Not the finest, not my greatest, not the greatest thing that I want to see. Sorry, couldn't think. Okay, this is going to get to 50-50 pretty quick, so I'm going to stop worrying about buffing it. I might even get rid of the koala. Yeah, koala, there's no need for the koala. That's right. Maybe I put a saber-toothed tiger in. A saber-toothed tiger with a Spinosaurus, if we win here, would be incredible. That would be incredible. Okay, as, yeah, as soon as that guy's to 50-50, we don't care anymore. 
Although, no, wait. Oh, no! That was incredible to be- okay. Man. That's the second, like, really incredible team I've had that just gets... ...killed out of nowhere, seemingly. Man. This is a fun weekly. This is a good weekly. Many people are gonna be saying that this is a fun weekly. I'm one of them. Okay. I'm gonna sneeze first of all. Alright. We have the ladybug and the, maybe the ladybug was the missing link in that last game. Although this is pretty awful right now. What I'm looking at. But a 4-6 ladybug right off the bat could do wonders. The prophecy has been foretold. It did wonders. And what do you know? The 4-6 ladybug has made a huge return. Although, will it be enough? I don't think... I think so, actually. I do think. Breaking news, I think. And here we go. Here's the... Here's what we wanted. This is gonna be the story. We get a yak. We get a ladybug. And then we get a koala. And then, if we're lucky, we get a bunny. It'll be the well-rounded team. And then we can put whatever we want else in there. It doesn't matter. Fine, I suppose. I don't know. Our yak is gonna start, you know, we need we need the bunny in here, or the yak. Like, the yak at the very least. Here's the bunny. You get her a dodo, you put the bunny in. You refresh this, we get another yak, and a salad. Okay, well, it didn't go where I wanted. That's, uh, you know, that's the way life goes sometimes. We lose this. That's an incredibly strong ladybug. They've got the same strategy, ladybug and... I didn't mean to do that, actually. Why? Like, that was fast-paced uh, brain... I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. I'll shut up. Fast-paced brain. What is I have a slow-paced... My brain is going too fast for my mouth. We desperately need food on our yak. We're on lethal now, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Yak me. Yak me? Yes. I know what I'm doing. Oh no, that was a... Uh, that was a, a yak. I'm so moronic. Okay, our, we need health desperately here, so we're, we're just doing this. And uh, we can deal with the consequences. An 11-6 is pretty terrible. I think it's gonna die immediately. We've lost. Pathetic. Pathetic. Alright, can we get one? This is gonna be the one, I can feel it. Let's forget about that strategy. It worked well the first time, and then that time when we tried it, we rolled right past a yak like a bunch of morons. Thank you for a easy first team. I appreciate that.
This one's gonna do wonders. Just kidding. Could this be the elephant's time? Find out. This is going to be the time of the shop where I wish I had gotten a unit I could actually level up. I got all my units ready to go. They're like, come on, man. Level me up. We're going to lose to this strong... That's the strongest ladybug in the whole world. That's what I hate about this game. It's so unrealistic. There would never be a ladybug in real life that has an attack like that. Just absolutely stupid. That's my biggest complaint with this game is that it's not it, it's not realistic. I don't even care. That might have been a dumb play, but we'll find out. Let's why well we'll find out. We'll watch and see. I think we'll win this, so that's all that matters. Quote. Okay. Time for the big bucks to come into play. If there is an empty space, gain plus two attack and plus two health. No thanks, actually. Not interested in something like that. We're going to sell you and roll for something better. You're tempting me, but I'm not going to fall for it. I'm not falling for it this time. Although this is the strongest unit here. It'll be a 4-4 four, four if we put it in. And we kind of need that for now. We buy the Yak for now, but we sell him soon. He goes bye-bye soon. Don't get too acquainted with the Yak. Because the Yak has got to go. Everything must go. Everything's name? Yak. Goodbye to the Yak. Um, you know, the elephant, I'm not, I haven't found a blowfish, so why do I still have the elephant? Good question, you might say. And if you say that, thanks. I do appreciate it. I save you for round seven. Because you're of no help to me now. It's impossible to win this. We lost. I've lost the mojo that I had during the middle of these runs. It's never coming back. Goodbye to the beetle. Hello to the crocodile. Hello to the pineapple. Hello to the front. Okay, now we got something going. We're getting a sniping team set up. What the hell? I don't even know what just happened, to be quite honest. Everyone killed, everyone died. Pairs, everyone... Wait, hold on. Turn 9, we get access to... Chocolate. So I think we only freeze one of these. Just in the off chance that we do get a chocolate, that would be kind of cool. This is good. Never mind. We're dead. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Truly a pathetic performance from yours truly.